And let's turn our attention to Bielsa State, where a power purchase agreement has been signed by the Bielsa State government and the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board for the delivery of electricity from the 10 megawatts gas-fired independent power plant. This is meant to ensure a regular power supply to the government house complex in Yenagua and its environs. Joseph Kunde has details. For years, the Bielsa State government house has been spending millions of naira on fuel. But the story is about to change. Located in Lebele in Bayelsa State, the 17-story Nigerian content tower has been powered with a 10-megawatt gas-powered independent plant. The agency now wants to share with the host state. The Bayelsa State Government and the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board have decided to sign a power purchase agreement meant to supply uninterrupted electricity to key facilities in the state. The power plant will operate on a sustainable basis with sub settlement of our obligations to the gas suppliers, operations and maintenance contractors, purchase of spare parts, and this 10 megawatts power plant, both of which are now operational and are creating employment opportunities for Bielsans. Our state government is prepared to partner in terms of the public-private partnership to ensure that Bielsa State is well lit up. Let me use the opportunity to commend and the Nigerian Content Development and Management Board for their commitment for a state that has the capacity to produce 1.5 million standard cubic feet of gas daily, it is necessary for such mutually beneficial collaboration. With the construction of our 17-story head office, we decided that we cannot run that facility on generators. So we collaborated with the Nigerian Energy Oil Company uh, to build a 10 megawatts power plant. Of course. Our facility cannot use the entire 10 megawatts and the plant was conceived and developed in partnership, by the way, with the Bielsa state government. Conceived to supply uninterrupted power supply, users will ever have to make prepayment deposits. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagoa.